Welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask Bible questions, and I don't pretend that I have all the answers. I've never claimed to be a Bible answer man, but I can tell you what I think after studying the Word of God for 42 or 43 years, whatever it's been now. I'll give you the email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send your Bible questions, and please keep those questions related to Scripture. Well, we got a question from a listener who writes, um, Why do you think God had Moses make a snake and have it placed on a pole and hold it up for the Israelites? Wouldn't that be like an idol. And, of course, the story that she is referring to occurred when the Israelites were traveling from slavery in Egypt to the Promised Land. They were complaining and complaining and complaining about God, whining, wanting to go back, threatening to stone Moses, their leader, accusing God of not caring, and on and on. And God was finally had enough. And he sent, the Bible says he sent fiery snakes, poisonous snakes, to bite the complainers. And they were dying left and right. And and Moses and Aaron cried out to God for mercy on behalf of the people. And God said, okay, this is what we'll do. Build a, build a pole, put a bronze snake on top of it, and tell the people, to look at it, and if they obey me and believe me and look at that snake, then I will heal them of their snake bites. See, their problem was a lack of belief in God, lack of trust in him, and that's why they complained when they didn't like something, and of course, disobedience. And so God gave them an opportunity to obey and to, by faith, do this simple little thing Look at the snake. Just believe him. Doesn't make any, it doesn't make medical sense. But believe me, he was testing them and he was giving them an opportunity to obey. And no, it was not an idol. It was simply designed by God to be an act of faith and obedience. And all that they were told to do was look at it. All that they were supposed to do was look at it out of obedience to God. And as I said, they got in trouble with poisonous snakes because they disobeyed God. So this simple command that he gave them was to look at the snake and then you will be healed. See, he was giving them a chance to obey and be healed since they got in trouble for disobedience. He's given an he was giving them an opportunity. Now, years later, the Israelites became superstitious and they actually did turn that bronze snake into an idol. They started worshiping it. But that's par for the course, really, not just with the Israelites, with a lot of people. God gives them something good or someone good. And what do they do? At first, they're appreciative of, of the whatever it is that God gave them. They're so grateful to God. And after a while, they start putting that thing or that person before God. It becomes an idol. They start, in essence, worshiping it. God gives you wealth. He blesses you with wealth. You're so grateful. You're not starving. And after a while, you start putting your trust in the wealth, right? And this goes for many things. It's par for the course. It's a wicked thing that people do. But it was not an idol. It was an object of faith that they were to look at out of obedience. That's all it was. And we will stop right there. Remember, you can study all of the Bible with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen. If you would like to be a part of this ministry that's been teaching the whole Word of God for over 35 years, faithfully, the whole counsel of God without watering it down, you can do that. By going to the front page, click the donate button and prayerfully give us the Lord may lead. And, very important, pray for me and God's word. I'd appreciate that very much. 
And again, if you have any Bible questions for me, you can send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. So long, everyone.